Guys, welcome back to the show. So as you guys know, it's Sunday, so that means the recent polls have just been dropped. And we do have some interesting changes. There isn't too much change here in terms of this new Abacus data poll in terms of the percentage of votes. Conservatives at 43%, Liberals at 22 NDP at 19, Block at 8, Greens at 4, and the PPC is at 2. That's nothing really new there. Liberals and in, in the NDP are kind of just doing this. Conservatives are well ahead. No change there. However, this is an electoral map of Toronto. This is really why I wanted to make this video, because I've made videos before talking about how Pierre Polyev and the Conservatives are going to dominate in Toronto even, which means they're going to dominate in most of the other regions of the country as well. But when you put it to a visual like this, a poll in Canada says that Abacus data poll is so bad for the Liberals in Toronto that they're left with a single seat and so good for the Conservatives that they pick up all but four seats. I mean, every single line you see is a riding, right? So this little square here is a riding, et cetera, et cetera, right? Look at all the blue. NDP has three seats. The Liberals have one. It looks like there's one toss up. I mean, again, when you put it to visuals, it just seems so much more impressive, but it really just seems like, I mean, if, if Justin Trudeau is his, if he's lost parts of Montreal and all but one riding in Toronto, I mean, what's his path to even get 30 seats, right? I mean, if you look at, you know, he's going to get a few in Atlantic Canada, a few in Quebec, if he's only going to get one in Toronto, I mean... <laughs> I mean, how low can they really go here, right? I mean, is it going to be is it going to be thirty seats or is it going to be less? It's looking like I think they actually had these seats pulled up here. Let me actually go back here. Let me check the uh, polling can. I believe you put out the seats. I just don't think I shared it. Yeah, so seats on this poll are would be the CP, the, the Conservatives would be 224, Bloc would be 43, Liberals 39, NDP 35. I don't know, guys. I just have a feeling that the Liberals are going to get a lot less than that. Ever since they lost the Toronto-St. Paul by-election, everyone's been kind of wondering, well, if that's not a strong safe hold for the Liberals, what is? And how many of them are they going to lose? I mean, I think that if they were to win 39, that would actually be pretty good for them, considering they're trending down by the day. Every week that you come out, like last week, the average was, I think, you know, in the 50s for the, for the average seat riding for the Liberals. Before that was in the 70s. Before that was in the 80s. They're just going down and down and down every week. Now they're projected to be in the 30s. How low can they go? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. What do you think the very minimum number of seats that the Liberals can get are? Because I don't think it's going to be like single digits or anything crazy as much as I would want that. But the longer we have until this election and the longer we have where the Liberals are just trending downwards, you know, where does it stop? So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. What do you think the absolute rock bottom is for Justin Trudeau and the Liberals? And how much do you think the that Pierre Polyev and the Conservatives can get. You think they can get maybe even over 250 somehow? That seems like a ridiculous amount, but with the way things are going, who knows? So again, let me know what you guys think in the comments section. I really enjoy engaging with you guys. Please also don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps grow the channel. Thanks again so much for watching, guys, and I'll be back very shortly with a new video.